More than a decade ago when we started relicensing the Clackamas project, we realized that the big focus in this license is going to be improving fish passage. The, the floating surface collector at North Fork is the keystone of that program. I think we put together a really good design and construction team. The surface collector is quite large. It's about two and a half million pounds. Although, like an iceberg, most of that weight is below the water when it's in its normal operating position. Historically, we used to get fish downstream through our fish passage facilities in anywhere from one to two weeks. And now it's gonna take that passage time from one to two hours. Anybody who works on, the, on hydro projects in the Northwest knows it's all about salmon. The construction started up at Promontory Marina, and that's where most of the construction of the FSC took place. We had parts and pieces shipped from Montana, where they were fabricated, and we welded them together in the marina after we prepared the marina with a flat area and everything to get cranes up there. It was the only logical place that we could build a structure of this size. The challenges with this project were the size of the vessel, and building a ship on land. We basically put it together like Legos. There's actually three different levels of this vessel. The bottom level is the belly tanks, the middle level is the ballast tanks, the top level is the operating deck. We also had work down here at the dam where we put in the anchors for the floating surface collector and we also put in the piping that goes across the face of the dam. After it goes through the penetration follows the face of the dam about a hundred feet in the air. So it was a real challenge getting that all put in safely and putting the platform next to it. To launch in more of the FSC down at the dam, we had to put it on marine airbags. To roll it 175 feet into the reservoir, it took about a week to do. We would inch it forward using big winches that were anchored in concrete on the shore and we'd pull it into the reservoir, move bags, and just leapfrog them that way until we got the whole structure into the water. We really did not want it to go in fast. To move it from Promontory Marina to the dam is about three and a half miles. The contract just used a tugboat it didn't take very long at all. So this is how it works. Collector uses about 1,000 cubic feet per second of attraction flow to draw downstream migrants into the fish channel. The fish channel has screens on the side that draws off most of that water and pumps it back into the reservoir. The channel entrance is about 16 feet by 20 feet, but narrows down to about a foot and a half by two feet before that channel transitions into a pipe that transports them around the dam and about six and a half miles downstream. Along the way, the pipe travels through the city of Estacada and also through a sampling facility in Timber Park before the fish are released into the tailrace below River Mill Dam. Once they're released below River Mill Dam, there are no more dams or obstructions preventing the fish from traveling to the Pacific Ocean. The Clackamas Basin is an amazing basin where almost all of the watershed upstream of the PG facilities is in the National Forest. And so as you can see, it is very good condition, great habitat for fish, it has great production capacity for steelhead and salmon. The real advantage of the floating surface collector is it's gonna improve on an existing good foundation of downstream passage survival at North Fork Dam. And so it's gonna get us to that goal of hitting 97% passage survival through our hydro project here on the Clackamas. So here we are closing in on a five-year anniversary of our license and most of our heavy work has been done. We have improved with our upstream passage issues with a new sorting facility for the adult salmon. We have worked on the downstream passage down at River Mill Dam, partway between River Mill and North Fork. We went over to Faraday Lake and, and made quite an investment in channelizing the lake to help us with the temperature issue. And now we get to North Fork and we're finishing the large surface collector. What's neat about the investments we've made in this new license is it really ensures the project has a viable future. The investment that PG's made really give this project its best years ahead of it.